Good evening, that's me, Cullen. Um, tonight, we will be using McDuff Soap Badlands. Um, this soap is grapefruit, peach, yuzu, and tonka bean. Um, yeah, I uh, did my homework on this one. Um, this has Alberta grass-fed beef tallow, shea and mango butters, um, silk white willow bark, green tea extract, and goat's milk. How do I know that? Because they were so kind enough to put this on the back label. <clears throat> Otherwise, I would be unprepared. One thing I do know, because I was looking at their website, um, pondering um, some of their new scents to get, um, you know, the name of the company, McDuff's, um, it's named after his dog, um, which is a Scotty, I believe. Um, and this soap is a brownish color. It's fairly soft. Um, it's kind of a pasty substance, so you have to use quite a bit of it. Also have the Splishity Splash for it. Today's razor will be a Blackland dart make sure i got it right last time i used the blackbird but i said it was a dart titanium this is the blackland dart stainless steel uh, today's bowl of choice will be the um, twin pines uh, gold and whatever color i figured it goes with the badlands colors with the dirt and all that and my brush tonight will be my uh, new to me, this is my Pelagic Lust Brush, as named by Wayne. Um, it's a gelled bore. Uh, Craig, this is from Opus. Craig had this brush, and he had it set aside for me. Um, and Wayne wanted to get a gelled bore, and I told him about this one. And um, Craig reached out and was like, are you sure it's okay if I sell him this? Because I know you've been wanting it. I said, yeah. Well then, um, Wayne bought it and um, and it was Wayne's first, uh, Wayne's a synthetic guy. And I always told him, if you ever decide to get rid of that brush, uh, let me know, I'm your man. And uh, he thinned out his collection and He sold me some soap sets and donated a bunch to the channel. And in that, he gave me some brushes and included this one in there. And I thank you, Wayne, because I absolutely love this brush. This knot um, is so good. Craig's gelled bore. Um, I've tried to reproduce it and I can't get a gelled bore um, as good as he does. I don't know what type of bore knot he uses, where he gets his supply from. Um, I don't know. Um, but they're really good. And in this tonight, I have a first use Nasset. If, you if you've never used McDuff soap, um, I believe I have another one of their soaps. I'll have to check. Um, but I really enjoy um, the scent it whips up a lather really quick. Um, now the only downside to this soap is that it is really soft, so you have to use way more than you normally would. So it's not going to go as far as a firmer soap.
And so, um, to me, um, You know, it's really a, a wonder that Blackland, that these um, didn't make it, that they quit selling these. But yet, the Tradir, um, which supposedly is way more aggressive, and costs um, over $200. Um, seems like it's steady sold out. Um, you'll go on there one day and they'll have some in stock. Um, it seems like you could go back on there two days later and they're sold out. Um, You know, which, um, you know, it's great. Um, you know, it's great for, I believe his name's Sean. Um, but it, it just uh, amazes me that the dart didn't make it. I think it's because a dart um, isn't as smooth as a razor as it could be. Um, I don't know. This soap, though, um, the first time I used it, I really, I didn't seem to get any peach. I got the, I guess it's the yuzu and the grapefruit, um, really not much tonka bean off of it and I was kind of disappointed but on the uh, on the splash um, the last time I used it I definitely got a lot of peach so that was a pleasant surprise
Yeah, the thing that always amazed me about the uh, dart and the blackbird is um, I believe the dart or the blackbird was um, rated as more aggressive. I think the only other DE I've ever used that I could compare aggressiveness to how the dart feels is the um, Icon Tech. Um, if you ever use the Icon Tech, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that thing is just nothing but blade feel. But I believe the Icon Tech um, is actually a smoother shaven razor. And I think it's only like a $50 razor. But this, uh, the lather of McDuff soap is really uh, nice and creamy. Uh, McDuff soap is one of the soaps that um, it almost fools you when you're lathering it. It looks like it's at the point of where where it's done and it's ready to go. Um, you know, this is, uh, you know, look at that. It, uh, I started off with 10 ml of water and worked it and uh, it all disappeared into the brush. Everything went in the brush into the knot. Um, all the soap, everything, there was nothing in the bowl. Um, I just kind of squeegeed the brush like this to get all the water and all the soap and just kept working the tips, working the tips. As they would disappear again, just worked it, worked it. Um, kept working the tips until I started getting, um, still until it started getting pasty. Um, which took maybe 45 seconds. Uh, then I think uh, I added two more mLs of water uh, worked it for about another 30, 45 seconds, just like I'm doing there, just work the edges, um, tips only, pulled it back out of the brush, um, worked it, and, uh,
I think all in all, I ended up adding after the original 10, I added six more mLs of water. Um, but after the first three, um, it tried to pretend like it was good and it was ready. Um, I don't know if any of y'all have ever noticed that too when you're making your lather. Um, that your lather, you'll see it kind of go from where it's wet to where it almost goes to a dry instantly. Um, And then you'll kind of just keep working it and then it'll try to go, it'll start going back to looking wet. And at that point, a lot of people will stop and then you'll hear them, uh, you know, you, you'll see them on the forums and stuff asking about um, not having any glide or slickness. Um, and it's because they stopped just a little bit too early and if at that point, when they got there, if they had added another one ml or maybe two mLs of water um, more and worked it in, um, you know, depending on the soap, you know, whether they have hard water or soft water, um, You know, they would have had perfect lather. Now I use a uh, water kettle, like for making tea, an electric one, to warm up. Um, distilled water because my water's so hard here um, it's just it's crazy like um, if I don't like rinse my like after my shave if I don't you know, wash all my stuff off and then rinse it in super hot water and then wipe it down really good. Um, I would constantly have to run the uh, autoclave with, uh, not autoclave, the ultrasonic cleaner with uh, some kind of um, soap scum remover all the time. This is where the dart ends up giving me the most problems on my neck because uh, it has so much blade feel um, that it, it's real easy to give me irritation on my neck. Um, doesn't feel like it did tonight, but let me get all this cleaned up and I'll be right back with you. All right, we are back. Let's go over what we used tonight. Tonight we use a Twin Pines wood turning uh, gold bowl. We use the Blackland dart. Almost said saber. Blackland dart. We use the Opus 
um, lust brush as it's been so deemed. I love the fluting on this brush, the colors, and this gelled bore knot of Craig's is just, he has the best. Um, I have this one also of his, um, and it is phenomenal. I've tried to reproduce his gelled bore and um, I can't come anywhere close to what he does. Um, I don't know what his magic is. And then for soap, we use McDuff Soap Badlands, which is uh, grapefruit, peach, yuzu, and tonka bean. Very nice creamy soap. And I don't know what it is about this lid. Um, I tighten it up like that. I'll put it in its little storage thing. Next time I get it out, it'll be pretty much all the way loose for some reason. Um, never understood it. But shake it up because it's got all kinds of stuff in there that separates. Um, this comes all the way from Canada. Oh yeah, there's that peach and that grapefruit. All the stuff that you lack in the um, soap is present in the splash. Um, I really believe that you could buy one of these splashes and use it for two tubs of this soap. Um, because this soap is so soft, uh, and when I say it is soft, I'm talking like, it's like, like that soft. Um, yeah, it's like, see, it's just like pasty. Um, so you do have to use quite a bit of soap. Um, so you could probably go through two tubs of this easy um, to one uh, splash. Um, and I gotta check to see if I have any more of his soap. I know he's got a couple right now that um, I am very, very interested in trying. Uh, he came out with that new one, the Biscotti one that has uh, uh, his dog drinking coffee, um, looking like a hipster. And then he has another one that has a picture of, uh, I think, a truck or something going down a highway. He's got quite a few of them that I want to try right now. Um, I know Razor Company just picked up some of his new scents, so I'll have to check them out there. That way I'm not paying all the uh, shipping from Canada. Um, plus you get free shipping from Razor Company. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to check out some of his new scents. Um, to see if they're all pasty like that. But it's a good soap. It makes a great, um, great lather, great scent, great slickness, great glide. Uh, that's my only complaint is that it's a soft soap, so it won't last as long. Um, but they are uh, decently priced. I believe they are uh, $14, $16.99. Uh, this is 120 grams which I believe is four ounces, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, they're, they're relatively decently priced. Um, it's a good quality soap. Um, yeah, it has a pretty good ingredients list. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read that. Um, tomorrow's shave, um, I looked it up beforehand and I actually remembered it will be Sterling Soap Satsuma. Uh, tomorrow's razor in line is going to be the Above the Tie um, Windsor Pro with the SB90 plate. And so with that, I'll have to figure what brush will match the Satsuma uh, theme and we will go from there so i'll see y'all tomorrow um 
I got in a false scent today. Um, and I got in, um, my spooky vines. Um, Halloween brush from Smiles for Miles. Um, and this I put in my King Titan bulb. And so um, I will use this when I use my, uh, my Halloween theme soap that I got in. And so we will go from there on that one. But, uh, so we'll see y'all tomorrow. Um, and I got in this cool one. I don't know if I showed you this one. From Craven Shaven. Um, he really has some cool brushes. Um, So I had to pick that one up on his last drop he did. But uh, we will see you tomorrow, good Lord willing, um, for another shave. So until then, take care, be safe, and God bless.